your your morning into dancing. Amen. Yes. Amen. Your sadness into gladness, into yes. joy. Uh. Because we we going every day be sad of our life because you know you know people you know people don't love us enough. People don't care about it now, so we get sad and we really all really out there inside mm. of our spirit. Amen. But if if it's not a good thing if the Lord gives you continuous gladness, even when people don't treat you the way you want them to treat you, you still still glad. Amen. You're still happy. Amen. You you wake up in the morning with gladness every day. Amen. Hmm? Amen. And Amen. stop worrying. Stop worrying. The things that get up is getting worry, worry, worry. Amen. 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 Let's stop what? Worrying. 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 God keeps taking me. Let's, let's go to Matthew. Let me just read out five. Amen. He keeps taking me to worry, 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 worry. Worry. There's a spirit of worriness. Amen. Hovering. Amen. 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 Matthew chapter 6. Look at it. Mm. Verse 25. Amen. Amen. Matthew 6, 25. Amen. Amen. Let's get, get hold of this spirit of war. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Alright. Uh, is everybody there? Rev? Amen. Read me verse 25. <coughs> Matthew chapter 6, verse 25. Yeah, well, I got my page click on Let's go. not worry about your life, mm. Mm. what you will eat, mm -hmm. or what you will drink. Know about your body, what you will put on. Mm. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothing? Amen. You hear that? Amen. Don't worry about our life. Why should we even worry? Why are we worrying? Yeah. That is Jehovah. That is God. Amen. Amen. Telling you not to worry Amen. about your life. Amen. How can the creator of life tell you not to worry about your own life? Amen. Amen. What you will eat and what you will drink. Ain't that something you worry about? Amen. About your body, what you will put on. Amen. That's what God gets most of us in trouble. That's what gets most of us in greediness and selfishness. And you know, because we worry so much about ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. We worry about our life. What is going to become of our life? We worry about the future. You know, because if you worry about your life, look at my, look at example, let me talk about myself. My destiny, I never knew I could preach the word of God. You know, a, a child. Amen. So if I started worrying, probably when I was 20 years old, or 15 years old, I started worrying about my future. Eh? If I start worrying, I worry, I worry, I worry. That same worry could have even probably given me diabetes, cancer, hypertension, or something. Mm -hmm. Because I'm worrying about what is going to become of my life. But that is for God to worry about. Mm -hmm. Look at where I am today, preaching the word of God. Amen. Amen. Never thought about it. Never thought. I, I love the Lord so much. But
But I never thought that he was going to choose me to be his servant. So that's why he said, don't worry, because you don't even know your future. You don't know where I'm taking you to. So why are you worrying about the life when you don't even know where God is leading you to? That's the point. The point is, why worry about something you don't have no control over? Mm -hmm. Right, that's true. Oh. Yeah. If we're worried about life, we don't have no control over our lives. Mm -hmm. You don't even know whether you're going to live tomorrow or the next day. Mm -hmm. You don't, We don't know that. Amen. Oh, but what you, we can do is do the will of our Father. That's what we can do, the will of God. Amen. You see what I mean? Mm -hmm. we, what we have control over is to do the will of God. Amen. That's what you, you have to be one. Oh, have I done this for God? Mm -hmm. have I, instead of getting worried about your life, because when you worry about your own life, you don't have control over that. You don't have control over your destiny. <coughs> Amen. Amen. control over it. But you see, people are sick. If you go to the hospital and you go and see somebody, even with cancer, and that person tells you their lifestyle, if they tell you what they have gone through before they got to that stage of cancer, you'll be very amazed. Amen. It is full of so much worry. What worry does to you is it kills your body. Because when you worry, then, you know, even the things that are coming out, me like a nurse, the thing that is being released from your body, you'll be very surprised. It's too much stuff, toxic stuff being released from your body. As soon as your brain starts something here, start getting worried. Amen. And it fights your own cell and it kills cell. That's what people go, I have cancer, I have hypertension, I have this, I have that. Why? That's affliction. Because the enemy has seen that, oh, you're worried about life. Okay, guess what? I'll start afflicting you. So you get more worried. Because he has seen the spirit of worriness in you. He said, okay, if he has the spirit of worriness, then I can get more stuff for him to get more worry about. Amen. 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 And at the end of it all, probably you never knew you'd be sitting right here listening to me preach. Or you. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? Amen. But we worry. Why? Because we are trying to cut the mind of God and understand where he's leading us to. Mm. And you can't. We are so little in the face of God for you to even try to figure out what is in the word of God mm -hmm. about Amen. your life. Amen. If you worry, it means you don't trust God. People that worry is they don't trust God. You Amen. might know God, but do you trust him? Hmm. You see what I mean? Amen. Do we trust him? Verse 26, Sister Shulana. I get the birds of the air. For they neither sow nor reap, nor gather into barns, but your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not of more value than they? Amen. Amen. Huh? Look at the bed. Just look, look at the birds in the sky. The other day, me and everyone was walking the park. So I'll get our works. They're so romantic people. <laughs> We're walking in the park. And, you know, and it was so beautiful out there. And I see there were nice little, nice dogs in, in, the, in, the, in the pond. And I was like, wow. I'm like, where do they go when it's winter? Mm -hmm. Where do these people stay? In the dogs. In the dogs. Well, I said, what? Because it was snowing in Texas. And I was, mm -hmm. I was like, curious. I'm like, man, where did they go? And then as soon as the, the, the winter went, they just came back to the, the, in the pond. Mm -hmm. There was one place ice. And the other part was not, it was in the water. And that's where they were. They didn't go to the ice park. And I was like, wow. Wait. And then he was like, man, they fly to Florida. And I didn't know that jets could fly that long, that mm -hmm. long distance. Mm -hmm. He said they fly to Florida and they come back when the weather is better. Yeah. I'm like, what a, a, a people. You mm -hmm. know, because God, how can God be that creative Amen. to figure out that a bird can fly to Florida mm -hmm. and then come back when it's fine? Yeah. You all see that? Yeah. And they are beautiful. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I'm like, what do they eat? Nice colored dogs. Some were white, some were colorful. Oh, it was pretty. Amen. Yeah. I'm like, God is good. Because this, they don't even worry. They, they just live their life. Yes. They fly when they want to fly. They come back. They find their food. I don't even know where they eat. <laughs> but God to feed them. Because they, that beautiful. Very beautiful. You have to look like God takes care of them. Mm -hmm. yes. Because they're so beautiful. You know? Amen. And I was looking and I said, wow. I, it was, I was so amazed with it. And I, I came 
came asking me where I was. I said, Where? <laughs> These things are beautiful. I said, Where did they even go? Where did they eat? What? I just, you know. And God is just telling me that if I can feed these this birds, what of you humans will feed them? Amen. Why are you worrying about your food that you eat? If I can feed these birds that you saw, what about you? Ain't you more valuable than those birds? Amen. In the island? Because he personally created man. God got up on the seventh day and picked your man and said, wow. And he rested. He rested before he started creating me. That's why he was really resting in his head. Amen. So he had to cut us so beautiful in his Amen. image. Amen. So if he takes his time to create you, then you think that he's not going to take care of you? Amen. Who would try to create something with his time and not take care of that? You see what I mean? But we worry. Because the enemy has come and told us something different. Amen. You see what I mean? Has told us different. Look at her. That is a lot of beauty. Yes, she mm -hmm. is. Just see her like that. I'm telling you, my mm -hmm. day is perfect. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's perfect because God, the only person that's in care of this day is God. Mm -hmm. It's not two of you. It's God. Amen. Amen. To grow Amen. up healthy, Amen. looking great, looking fine. Amen. You think that she has any worry in her head? <laughs> <laughs> She's being comforted. That's it. Peter, you don't have no worry, don't you? <laughs> you don't have your ready worry, honey. Amen. <laughs> your good worry is your parents. They are trying to worry how they're going to raise it up. Amen. 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 Are they not of mm. more value than they, than you? That's what God said. If I can feed them. Verse 27. Yeah. Verse 27. 27. Yeah. Yeah. Which of you, by worrying, can add one cubit mm -hmm. to his stature? Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, that's that's oh. If you worry, what, what are you, can you add to what God has really had for you? What can you add? You can't add, you can't subtract. Mm -hmm. You can't add nothing to your stature. Amen. By worrying, you can't do nothing in your life. Amen. All what worry does is kill you. That's true. That's Amen. all it does. That's huh? true. Amen. That's true. You know, you go to the bed, you're flipping sideways, flipping Amen. here. You can't sleep. Hey, worry. You can't sleep. Worry, worry, worry. Oh, God. Why am I going to do me that? Why? Why? You'll put 20,000 things in your mind. You go to bed with joy, you wake up, and in the morning you wake up with so much evil in you, you cannot even, now everybody around you disgusts you. Because all of the worry that you're carrying, so you, you have to be so mean. That's why when we go to places and somebody's so mean to us, I just tell her, I just tell her, well, I say, you know what, that's for her, that's not you. Mm -hmm. She's not doing against you, it's just her life. Mm -hmm. life. You know, so she, they gotta, or oh, he, they gotta yeah. find a way. Have you ever talked to a, a customer service representation on the line and they are so mean to you? Yes. So mean that you're like, what, what did I do? No, it's not what you did. It's about themselves. Amen. It's not about you. That kind of situation just turn and you go, you go in peace. <laughs> Don't even stand there and try to figure out why they're doing that to you, how they're doing Because when you do that, you are carrying the spirit of worry that is on them will come to you. Yes. Amen. When yeah. people are mean to you, they, are, they act really bad to you, you have not done anything to them, just know it's a spirit of worry that mm -hmm. they're trying to transmit to you. Mm -hmm. If you stand there trying to figure it out, by the time you leave from there, you carry that spirit. And as soon as you carry that spirit, you go in your house and you start worrying 